right, so today we're diving into a story okay. that proves expertise and care. You know, those can be found even across thousands of miles. Right. Especially when it comes to something as vital as phone repair. Yeah, it's it's interesting how we often limit ourselves, you know, to like local options for repair. Totally. But as as our devices become, you know, increasingly essential, like almost like an extension of ourselves. Oh, absolutely. The question of trust and expertise it takes on a whole new meaning, doesn't it? It really does. Yeah. yeah. You're about to hear a story from City CBD Repair Center's blog about a customer named Mark. Okay. And let me tell you, this is way more intense than just a cracked screen. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm intrigued. So picture this, okay? You're on Horseshoe Bay in Queensland, about as remote as you can get, totally reliant on your ROG Phone 7 for connection. Right. Then disaster. Oh. The phone takes a tumble, and the screen is done for. Oh, no. That's the worst. It's it's the worst, especially when you're in, in the middle of nowhere. Especially with the ROG Phone 7, those screens are no joke. Exactly. They're not like your average phone. No. So he could have gone to any local shop, right? But he decides this needs a specialist. Okay. He stumbles upon Sydney CBD Repair Center, mm -hmm. a shop with over 18,000 positive Google reviews and a five-year streak as a top-rated Sydney repair shop. Wow. So this is... That's impressive. This is not just some random... That's saying something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So Mark clearly thought so, too. Because he reached out. Okay. Despite being nearly 2,000 kilometers away from Sydney. Wow. Okay. Now, this is where the story gets interesting. Okay. We're talking shipping a fragile phone right. across a vast distance during stormy weather with ferries thrown into the mix. Oh, wow. The logistics alone are, that's a nightmare. I know, right? Yeah. So this is where you start to see how much trust Mark is placing in this shop sight unseen. Absolutely. That's a huge leap of faith. Huge leap of faith. And it's a great example of what we'll be exploring today, right? Okay. All right. What to look for in a repair shop, even when they're miles away. Yeah. Because let's face it, sometimes you need that specialist touch. Absolutely. You can't just trust anyone with a device like that. Exactly. Yeah. And this is where I think the human element really shines through in this whole thing. Oh, okay. You know, David, the shop owner, he clearly understood this wasn't just a repair job. This was about like getting Mark back online, connected to the world, back to his life. Right, like restoring a lifeline almost. Exactly. Yeah. So it's cool to see that he really saw it as this mission. Yeah. You know, not just a transaction. And the fact that he was able to complete the repair in just an hour, that's... Uh. Right. That speaks volumes about his his expertise, but also his dedication. Yeah. He didn't just fix the screen. He threw in a screen protector for good measure, too. It's those little details. It's like that's above and beyond. They make all the difference. You know it, what I mean? Totally, totally. So imagine, imagine Mark's relief when that ROG Phone 7 arrived back in his hands. Oh, I bet. Good as new. Faster than he expected. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. That's got to be such a weight off your shoulders. Right. When you get that kind of service, especially from so far away, that's... It really builds the trust. Yeah. It's a powerful reminder that going the extra mile, it can create, you know, lasting trust and loyalty. And that's exactly what we're going to unpack today, right? right? Like how to find those specialists who go above and beyond, even when you can't walk into their shop yourself. Right. Yeah, because that's the challenge nowadays, right? Exactly. Yeah. So let's dive into these like these key questions you should ask any repair shop, especially if you're far away from them. All right, let's do it. So we've talked about online reviews, right? Right. They're great. They're helpful. Mm -hmm. But like we said earlier, look for that consistency over time. Yeah. One glowing review from like six months ago. Doesn't tell the whole story. Doesn't mean much if the rest are kind of... Yeah, you know. Yeah. Exactly. And you know what? Don't be afraid to dig into those negative reviews, too. Oh, yeah. That's a good point. Because, you know, how a shop responds to criticism, that says a lot. Oh, for sure. Are mm -hmm. they defensive? Or do they see it as an opportunity to learn and grow? Yeah, it shows they care. That willingness, that willingness to learn, that's crucial, I think. It builds trust, too. Absolutely. Like, you mess up, you own it, you move on, you do better. Exactly. And that open communication, I feel like that extends to how they talk to you, too. Right? Oh, 100%. Like David, for instance, he responded super quick to all of Mark's questions. Yeah. So besides just being quick, what else, what are some things people should listen for when a shop's, like, reaching out to them? Yeah, responsiveness, that's huge, for sure. Yeah. But I'd say also pay attention to their clarity. 
Like, how well are they explaining things? You know, are they being upfront about their processes? About their pricing, about how long it's going to take, all that. Exactly, exactly. And the potential risks, right? Like, what if something happens? Right. Are they being realistic? Exactly. And how do they talk to you? Do they use all this technical jargon that you don't understand? Right. Or do they take the time to explain things and make sure you're comfortable with everything? Yeah, like, you're not just a number, you're a human. Exactly. And speaking of not being just a number, ROG phones... They're not your average phone either. Right. Oh, no. They're complex. With their cooling system and all their, like, unique features. Oh, yeah. They're they're in a whole different league. How do you even know if a shop has the skills to deal with that? You know, honestly, just ask. Just straight up. Yeah. Just be up front and say, hey, I've got this ROG phone. You know, have you worked on these before? What's your experience? And a good shop will be honest with you. Exactly. They'll be honest. If they haven't, they might even point you to someone who has. Exactly. Because they'd rather you go to someone who knows what they're doing than mess up your phone. Right. Totally. Totally. And, you know, since we are talking about long distance repair here. Oh, yeah. Logistics. Huge. That's a whole other can of worms. A whole other can of worms. Because you're shipping a fragile device, potentially across the country, there's a certain amount of risk there. Yeah. Are are you Are you going to put it in a box and hope for the best? Exactly. So ask them. How do you ship? What measures do you take to make sure my phone gets there in one piece? Right. Yeah. Is it insured? Is it trackable? Like all of that. All of that is important. Okay. So it's like having this little mental checklist. Exactly. You go through it, and then you can kind of make that decision. Like, how else right, can I trust this place. Peace of mind. Yeah. Exactly. And you know, Mark's story. It had a happy ending, which is great. Yeah. But it does make you wonder. Like, what if something had gone wrong during shipping? Oh, yeah. Like, what then? What do you do? That's that's such a good point, and I think it's something that a lot of people don't even think about right. before you even ship your phone. Back up your data. Oh, that's a good one, yeah. Because if something happens, at least you have your photos, your contacts, all of that stuff. Right. It's not the end of the world. Exactly. And check your insurance. Oh, that's a good one, too. Some policies cover shipping damage, some don't, so know what you're working with. It's all about being prepared. Being proactive. Yeah. Yes. Because at the end of the day, the more informed you are as a consumer, the better. Knowledge is power. Exactly. Yeah. So do your research. Find those trustworthy experts, the ones who prioritize your peace of mind, right? A hundred percent. Because mm-hmm. it's not just about fixing a phone. It's about getting you back up and running, connected to the world. Well said. And on that note, we'll leave you with that thought. Yeah. We hope this deep dive has given you some things to think about. Definitely. Maybe even the courage to look beyond your local repair shop if you need to. Absolutely. Because sometimes that perfect fix, it is just a click and a shipment away. That's right. Thanks for joining us today, everyone, and we'll catch you in the next deep dive. See you next time. 